If you're new year, my name is Grace. I'm studying for the bar exam, but that's coming to an end in 11 days. Thank God. All right, brief intermission to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Vanity Planet. So thank you to Vanity Planet for sponsoring today's video. What a redundant sentence. So I got the chance to try out Vanity Planet's facial steamer, which has been out of stock for a really long time, but it's finally back in stock. So I'm gonna have some clips of me using it because I use it at night, but recently with studying for the bar after six o'clock, I'm literally so useless and rude that I can't even vlog at night anymore because I'm just so dead. But I've really been loving using this product because it's really, really relaxing. Now I'm not one for long skincare routines but i have been getting into them just because it gives me something to focus on other than school or studying and it's just very relaxing to have the steam coming onto your face it comes out at the perfect temperature where it's not too hot you don't have to worry about burning yourself it comes with these extra pieces that you can put into the into where the steam comes out and you can soak the little sponges that are in there in an essential oil like lavender or eucalyptus or mint and put it in here so when you're steaming your face you get those essential oils onto your face which could be either relaxing or wake you up or and you can take it out so you don't have to like clean this to get the essential oil out you can just remove the attachment so other than being extremely relaxing it also helps release impurities from your skin dead skin cells detoxify your face so i found my skin to be more moisturized glowy and more just an even complexion after using this for about a week or so so if you want to try out vanity planet's era ionic facial steamer you can use the code lipsticks and lattes 50 but lipsticks nd lattes like my instagram handle 50 for 50 percent off which is a great deal so again thank you to vanity planet for sponsoring this video and make sure you All right, it's time to start studying. So the study plan for today, we're focusing on essay topics. So that is wills, trusts, corpse, agency and partnerships, secure transactions, conflict of law, and family law. I basically finished all of the multiple choice topics. I went into Barbary and then I did MBE questions by topic. So it broke it down by like, you know, civil procedure, contracts, con law, property, blah, blah, blah. But then within that section, there was like five sections on each subtopic. So I did all of those except like three contracts one because yesterday I just gave up and moved on to something else. But that's like 650 multiple choice questions I did in the last five days or so. So yeah. Safe to say I'm pretty much burnt out on multiple choice. So yesterday after I finished them by topic, I did some MBE sets where they're all mixed and I did like okay, not fabulous, not horrible. But I have to take the last hundred questions tomorrow. So I'm gonna to focus today on some essay topics and then just do like a quick review of MBE. But essay topics are honestly just more important for me right now because I feel like I know nothing. So what I'm going to do is because it's just too late to be reading outlines, it's too close to the test, I don't have the time, is I'm going to go through the Barbary essays. So for instance, I think today I will do probably wills and trusts and 
Let's just go to like a Wills essay. So when you do an essay, there's obviously the essay prompt and then they have a sample answer and then a checklist of how you would get all the points. So this is a Wills essay on a republication of a will so that I know if I get a republication of a will essay, like this is the rule I have to analyze because again, I don't have enough time to be going through all of the outlines and memorizing the entire topic. Open up my timer, I mean my stopwatch, and just start studying. And by the way, I updated my phone. So I, you know, made my home screen a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. I didn't do all of the apps or anything because it just takes a while. And it's like when you open an app, once you have, you know, made it look better, it takes you to the shortcut app first. So I wouldn't want to do that for like these apps or whatever apps that I go on a lot because it does take you through that shortcut thing. But it's definitely cute to look at. So on that note, let's begin. Just another sunny day in Southern California. It's where the people came to play. I got through three essays, so that's pretty good. There's eight essays, and then in the back, there is some more. So I'm going to do all the eight essays on these, and then do the other essays as, like, practice tests. But what I'm doing now is I'm actually going to go meet Liana. If you remember, if you've been here since law school, law school, my friend from law school, I'm going to go meet her at her dad's office, and we are going to study together. Because sometimes studying together does help. Like, I can't do a group study for my entire study time. But I think, like, repeating the rules and, like, if you explain something to someone else, it helps you understand it. So that's what we're going to do. I need a backpack, but I'm pretty sure I packed it away. So, yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to go to Liana's office, study for a while, it's 10 o'clock now, so I'll probably get there around like 10, 50, 11 o'clock, depending on when I leave. And I just want to study as much as I can until like 5 or 6 o'clock. And then, I don't know, come home and edit a video or something. Um, you know, I'm really not as stressed about the multiple choice anymore. It's the essays, and even so, I've just accepted my fate. I'm, I'm neither happy nor sad. That Casey Musgraves song. Yeah, I'm not anything. I'm not anxious. I'm not angry. I'm not worried. I'm just like, I've given up, I think. I think that's what it is. I've given up. But that's okay. Here's my OOTD. This is the first time I've left the house since like Tuesday? Monday, maybe? Sweatshirt is from Abercrombie. I'll link it below. It's like one of the best purchases I've made this year. Lululemon, just regular Wonder Unders. Nike Free Runs, and I haven't used this bag in so long. This is the Pochette Mati by Louis Vuitton. I am obsessed with it, and I just haven't used it because ever since I got the Neo Noe bag from Louis Vuitton, I've just been using that, and that was like March, April maybe. In Southern California.
everyone. It's 2.30. I'm on my way home. I'm stopping at good old McDonald's to get a Diet Coke because I need caffeine to keep going. I honestly didn't get that much done. Um, I finished Will's, but did some multiple choice. Wasn't good. So I really have a lot more to do today. I need caffeine, but if I have a coffee right now, like I'll be up till 4 a.m. So we need caffeine, but a little less. So I'm getting a Diet Coke. And I'll see... What was that word? Honestly, I really want one. I've just been craving a good old Diet Coke for like a week now. But Diet Coke is honestly only good if it comes out of like a fountain soda machine. Hence me being at McDonald's. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive I met you in the summer When you left it was cold Said we loved one another Guess that we were wrong I met you in the summer Our love was out of control I've been going crazy without you so long I met you in the my agency cards we have wills I guess I should probably clip them together as to not lose them but what I did if you guys are still studying or you're watching this in the future was like obviously I just wrote the topic on the front so republication and then on the back, I wrote like the rules for republication and what you would have to reference in the essay. And then in the corner, I put the essay number. So like that was essay seven. So if when I'm reading it, it either doesn't make sense or I want clarification or I want to know like what the full answer would be, I can just go to essay seven in the book and read the answer and like the full rule. I did write basically the full rule for most things because the rule statement itself is like at most four sentences usually and that would be a long one so I tried to put as much information on them to make them useful but without going overboard because I have a tendency just to rewrite everything and I'm not gonna put them in my drawer or else I won't look at them but I have all these little pink school supplies that I got for this very purpose off them. <laughs> Instagram live for like an hour while I was editing my vlog. Now I have to go do my skincare and stuff. I got another ice roller in the mail. I've been missing this thing so badly. I broke it because I dropped it on the floor like a month ago and I haven't had it and nothing works as well as this thing in the morning like when your face is puffy. I love the gua sha and the jade roller or rose quartz thing whatever. But nothing works as good as this. So I'll link it down below. It's like $11. I've broken it three times, but I still love it. So I will link this down below. The Instagram live was really funny tonight because we had a troll in there, but it, like it wasn't a mean troll. Like some trolls are just like straight rude. You got to make sure you follow me on Instagram because we have some really funny times. But I'm going to go put this in the freezer and do my skincare. All right, I finished editing that video. Luckily, I edited a lot of it while I was doing the Instagram live. But I washed our sheets yesterday. So, you know, it's just the best feeling when you sleep in freshly cleaned sheets. I generally try to restore my desk to a decent condition at the end of the night. So when I sit down, it's like new again. Although the desk is rather dirty. But there we go exporting the video. I'll just upload it in the morning and I'll see you tomorrow.
Good morning, you guys. Now it's Saturday. I did vlog yesterday, but I literally studied until like 8 p.m. So there wasn't really anything to show. So I'm just going to delete that. And we're going to move on to today because, um, again, very boring. Saturday. And we're just really going to have a pretty crazy day. So first on our to-do list is study. And then we have to study and then after that I have to study so pretty packed day but it's 8 10 drinking coffee I put my hair in braids now I don't know how to French braid or do anything so they're just really not good but my hair was kind of dirty and I just I hate having it in my face so figured a little braids switch it up instead of the bun you know i like to keep you guys on your toes also i took my nail polish off yesterday because i was picking at it my nails are so long i don't think i've gone this long without biting them in forever part of me wants to bite them all off because it's easier for me to type without nails and I just feel like for the test, um, I need to be able to type really fast. But at the same time, they're just so long. My parents got me a gift card to get my nails done. So thank you guys. But um, I'm contemplating getting my nails done today. I'm probably just going to start studying right away today. Because I really have a lot to do. Yesterday I did the last 100 questions for Barbary. And it didn't go like terribly, but it didn't go well. So then I freaked out and did more multiple choice and I just never really got around to essay topics yesterday. So that's really bad. I need to do essays. Uh, I also need to improve my multiple choice score, but that's its own ginormous problem. It's kind of quiet in my room right now without you. And I couldn't really make you stay. So what to do? I'm just staring at my walls and talking to myself now and then I'll try to laugh but I'll cry a bit as well I was never any good at being away from you I met you in the summer When you left it was cold Said we loved one another Guess that we were wrong It's almost 3 o'clock which is alarming I've been studying literally all day I just took a break to make this rice really balanced meal but it's like it's not just rice it has like flavor and stuff it comes in like a pre-packaged thing and you just boil it i mean it's really not groundbreaking so i'm gonna eat that and watch a youtube video and then i'm gonna write some more essays i actually haven't written an essay yet today i've just been taking notes on them because at this point like i can't just spend my whole day writing essays but i should practice like one of each topic this week. Oh my god, so I wrote some essays, agency and partnership. It actually didn't go terribly and then I did some practice questions and I just ordered our wedding invitations finally. Yay! They won't be here until like October 10th or so, but it, it's fine. Um, me, it's fine. People have like a month to respond. Um, yeah so now it's six o'clock and i'm gonna take a shower because first of all i just look gross i bit all of my nails off did i say that already i may have said that already i don't know but i bit all of my nails off so that's good and that's it i'm gonna go shower because i just can't even look at myself right now okay i'm out of the shower i am going to steam my face i know i already showed this earlier so i'm not really going to show it now but see my face i've been using this artistry studio pampered i hate when like the towel that you're using to dry your hair falls off your head um that looks even worse but i just like don't care artistry studio pampered pout yeah so good i tried looking it up and i couldn't find it so maybe it's like not out yet or something bring that on and then yeah gonna steam my face because it's like the five minutes of peace I get in my day where I legitimately cannot do anything 
because um, I have to have my eyes closed. I literally cannot believe that the bar exam is in a week. As much as I am like excited for it to be over, I'm very, very nervous to take it because I'm terrified that I didn't study enough. And like looking back on it, I really regret just doing exactly what Barbary told me instead of doing what I think I need to do to learn because I know myself better than a fucking computer program and I, I, I shouldn't have just followed Barbary because a lot of the time I wasn't even paying attention to what I was doing. And I feel like I learned more in the past few weeks when I really just like followed my own sort of program. So I'm just scared that because I really spent like the first like two and a half months of this not paying attention that I'm not gonna pass especially when it comes to the essay topics because it's just so hard to know all of this stuff and remember it and understand it anywho this camera's gonna die as per usual I'm going to finish doing my skincare routine watch some YouTube videos get in bed it's 6 30 mind you Oh, that feels good. Maybe I'll absorb the torts like this. Please, intentional torts. I can't remember you. I can't remember you at all. Which is so weird because I used to be really good at torts. Anyways, gonna get in bed and review some torts and maybe some evidence and property and contracts and just like really exciting things, you know? You know? So I'm gonna go charge this. Jesse came home bearing gifts the only way you're allowed to come home is with gifts you guys always ask me for wine recommendations especially when I do like an Instagram live I've only ever seen this rosé one other time and I had it with Chelsea and we both really liked it I think it's around like $16, so it's pretty good. Definitely better than like the $10 wines I recommend. It was $18. Oh, it was $18. Okay, well, if you're going to spend $18, you might as well just get like Hampton water because it's $2 more. It is good. Like it has no like bitter aftertaste. And I still haven't unpacked this PR box because it's just like too cute. So it's just staying here gonna paint my nails because as I said I bit them off so my parents got me a gift certificate to get my nails done but I think I'm gonna wait until after the bar exam to use it you know a little relaxation a little treat yourself okay anyways this is OPI manicurist of Seville it's like a nice purpley red and this is the top coat I use you're supposed to use it in conjunction with the step one which would be the color but I just don't really care and the color I usually have on my nails, that really light pink, is Sally Hansen, the Argan Oil line, shade 225, 225, Savasana. So, I always get questions about that. you in the summer 